I am Dr. Ashish Philip, and I am working here in the orthopedic department of Aster RV, our new branch of Aster here in JP Nagar. So today I'd like to make a small talk about uh, trauma. Trauma by definition itself means um, an injury, a physical injury. But we can broadly classify this into two, which is either simple or complex. Now simple trauma are like simple injuries which you might get while you're walking down the road or you have a fall while playing. You might injure yourself to your either your wrist or your knee. These small injuries are not that complex. They're low velocity injuries and they can generally be treated with conservative measure which is by which we mean that either casts or splints or some form of minimalistic uh, surgery in the form of a pinning or so on and so forth. Now, again, don't be fooled just because we call them simple injuries. Uh, it's not without its risks in the sense that sometimes if not treated right, they can uh, lead to deformities. And uh, this is very commonly seen in children who uh, have not received the proper form of treatment or who've gone for some form of native treatment. Uh, they come back after a certain duration because of their growth, the deformity grows exponentially and then they're deformed. And this will lead to a complex treatment later on. So simple fractures could be treat, treated in a simple manner if brought early. The other type of fractures which we see or trauma which we see is complex trauma. Now complex trauma encompasses a lot of different factors. Now uh, if you take polytrauma for instance, polytrauma could be a complex fracture to more than one uh, extremity. Now uh, these could be fractures in complex forms which is they are in really shattered pieces and will require reconstruction. Or they could even encompass um, secondary uh, systems such as a blunt injury to the abdomen or uh, to the chest which can then involve the liver, the spleen or um, even sometimes they could end up having a hemothorax and uh, you know which will require specialist treatment. Now uh, when we take uh, polytrauma for instance our golden rule in polytrauma is always time and uh, it's the golden hour. So a patient should be brought to a tertiary center in the least amount of time. So that requires first a good stabilization at the accident site by the paramedics and then brought to a tertiary center. And by tertiary center, I mean there should be a good ER facility where um, the doctors are trained to handle any type of multi-system injury. We should have on hand investigative uh, uh, infrastructure such as uh, x-rays, ultrasounds within the casualty because very often we find patients are shifted from the ER to the uh, diagnostic part and they could tend to fail you know and so uh, infrastructure which encompasses these diagnostic forms well within the ER is always an, ad an advantage to treat the patient. Next we need specialty teams like surgery, orthopedics, anesthesia, around the clock and urology, cardiology all round the clock working to for the patient. The next is after that we need to have great infrastructure in the form of an operating theater because uh, uh, we have to be able to prep the patient and take them up for surgery as and when they come in immediately. So the faster the better. So here at ASTA we um, are trying to reduce the amount of time the patient takes before they can uh, receive the best form of treatment. So how do we go about doing that over here is for one is our paramedic teams. We are, uh, are um, readying ourselves with motorcycle ambulances as well as the conventional ambulances and the motorcycle ambulances give us the advantage sometimes for the paramedics to get to their patient a little bit more faster than the ambulances, stabilize the patient and then the patient can be shifted here. Our ER team are specialized in uh, BLS as well as um, ACLS protocols and you know are uh, very well equipped in handling all types of trauma and uh, multi-system trauma. We have on hand a dedicated neurology team as well as urology team and uh, anesthetic and orthopedic team like what I'm here to do. 
Um, the other factor is after surgery. Now, once we take the patient for surgery over here, we have a great quaternary care surgery um, operating theater with uh, inbuilt MRI uh, for the newer patients. Uh, we also have um, uh, the necessary x-rays and C-arms within our theater to provide the quaternary care for the patient. And after surgery, our patients also should be able to have the state-of-the-art ICU because uh, most patients who come with multi-system injuries might require ventilatory uh, support. And so a good ICU is also necessary. So here we believe that uh, with uh, early treatment and uh, a good rehabilitation, the patient can recover better.